Everybody to this. Well, welcome everybody to the semifinals of Grand Prix Kansas City. And we're joined here in game one. On the left is Sam Friedman. On the right is Luis Scott Vargas. In the booth <coughs> is myself, uh, myself Ray Punzlan and Eric McCormick. And they are start had getting off to the races already with Flair Husk in turn one. And there is sort of a spin famine in uh, Sam's hand. Wellspring. Over there for Sam, who's going to search up a land there. Sort of Feast of Famine in his deck. It looks like there's a Delta Phoenix in the bottom of his deck right there. Right. Searches up a mountain. Let's see if Luis has something for his second turn. Player Hustle start packing and then Perilous Mirror comes into play. Alright. So I imagine Sam wouldn't play a sword here. You probably want to be a little more. Oh, he does play a sword there. Thought he had another three drop. I guess he is, that was not a three, three drop in his hand, so he plays a sword, and now he's just going to take two from the little small beatings from LSV. LSV does not have a three drop. Possible blessing, I believe, that was in his hand. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> More equipment. Nice looking equipment, but no, <laughs> no body set attached to it, and LSV is going to go for two again. Yeah. Here comes two, and just passed, missing his fourth land drop. So both these guys uh, on three here. Rotwolf picked up a Sam in his turn, is that, and that's what is going to come into play. Get Stoic rebuttal, leaving the equipment helpless still. Yeah, really, keep, keep him off of guys seems like a really good plan. Despise. We are looking at Exoskeleton, Delta Phoenix, uh, the 4-2 Slasher, uh, the 5-1 uh, Phyrexian Mana Trample guy. And I think it's a Pith Driller behind the Grafted Skeleton. You guys can't see it, it's a little off the screen. So the uh, card's off screen. Grafted Skeleton, Pith Driller, and 5 1 Trample. Pith Driller is the one that LSV decides to take with Despise. Comes in with his two beaters. And no land. Still no land. Not looking good for uh, Luis. Real answer for both these right. guys. Carapace Forger, and it will get equipped. And it's Metal Crafted, so it's a 5. A five, uh, five, is a five five first striker, or at least a five power first striker right there. Yeah, I think it's a five four first striker, and probably gets equipped with the uh, sword of feast and famine before he comes in. Sam also short on land, not getting any help, but he does have the powerful sword of feast and famine in his hand. That looks like it's going to get equipped there. Yep. And Luis, what does Luis have? He has a oh vapor snag, vapor snag to bounce it. Sam will take lose a life. And Luis could go, go back to trying to beat down with his 1-1, one, one, guys. Yeah, and, and Luis has two of those in his deck. So there's one. Buy some time. Beat down. All right, Sam will drop to 10 after that. Fourth land. This should be something now for Luis. Or is he going to pass the turn? Any four drop for Luis? Seems like he's thinking about putting something down. <laughs> and Sacromancer. Or is that is that Sacromancer? I, I believe it is. Carapace comes down again and gets equipped with the uh, first striking equipment. So, and uh, Sacromancer, and then Sang Sangromancer. Yeah, Sangromancer. There you go. I knew I was saying it a little wrong. <laughs> and Sky, Sky Eel School comes into play for Luis. Yeah, good to have a flyer. Yeah, Sam's only sitting at seven life now. So. Shows you the value of kind of beaten down. Yeah, Luis has lethal on the table with two flyers plus perilous mirror. Sam never improved his situation, and perilous mirror is just going to shoot, jump, shoot, and That's Luis game. will take game one. Struggling a little bit on man in a bit, but he at the beginning but was able to pull out of it. Sam never being never getting out of mana screw. And we'd like to thank, uh, we, uh, as Gaming Etc. would always remind you to blame Kibler. Gaming Etc. has the t-shirts, blame Kibler t-shirts, binders, of course all your magic needs. 
you want to join their Facebook group, just go uh, tinyurl.com slash blame Kibler. Hey, if I, if I want to get that stuff, but I, I want to save some money, how can I do that? Yeah, all you got to do is use the code GG's Live at the end of your purchase, and it will save 10% off your entire purchase. Go support Gaming Etc. for helping them bring the Grand, Grand Prix coverage to you guys this entire weekend. All right, so the players are sideboarding, shuffling up right now. Uh, Luis taking a peek at the sideboards. Two twisted images. Don't know if he knows if it's good or not in his deck. Oh, he does have one sideboard card he's interested in bringing in. Might be he was more interested in bringing something out. It might have been a mere sire he brought in. Yes. Sam, with all the equipment is he has, is not, re not really going to like the bounce in Luis's deck. It really no. slows him down. You have to commit the mana to cast the equipment, equip the equipment, and then if he just bounces your creature, sometimes you can't even replay it. So you're stuck with just passing the turn and you have equipment in play like we saw here. Yeah, that, that's the, uh, I mean, really, that, that Vapor Snare was the, uh, the really, uh, or Vapor Snag was the really, the really big, uh, big hit there. That uh, definitely bouncing and and freeing up uh, Luis to, to crash in for some, a few more points and then be able to kind of keep playing just really made a big difference. All right, let's see if Sam decides to play or draw. I believe he played in the last match we saw. So if he carries on the trend. Kind of think you almost have to with the... Uh, just with the tempo game that seems to be being played. Mm -hmm. Well, see, so yeah, Sam saw a little bit of Luis's deck, but I'm not sure. He didn't really get to experience any of Luis's removal or stuff. They did look through each other's decks, so maybe he knows what to avoid and what it's better to do, and he decides to draw. Island matches for Island and Forest, and now. Despise again. We are looking at Carapace Forger, Rot Wolf, and I'm not sure the other card. I'm not sure if it's a. I can't make it out clearly. Does that, someone know what the middle creature card or middle card is between the Rot Wolf and the Carapace Forger? Can't make out the picture. Oh, Mall Splicer. Okay. And then four forests. So let's see where Luis thinks the biggest threat's coming from. Well, the Mall Splicer is the biggest threat, but it's not coming out as soon as Forger and Rat Wolf. So Luis definitely has, looks like he has three islands in his hands. And. wonder what else. So. Okay. And Carapace, Carapace Forger. <laughs> Okay, Luis picks Carapace Forger to prevent early beatings, and Sam draws a mountain for his turn. Probably won't play it to reveal his draw and give Luis perfect information. Yeah, keep him guessing what that card might be. All right, more replica for Luis on turn three, and we're probably going to see Rat Wolf here. There goes with Rat Wolf. Mere Sire drawn by Luis. I think he'll be able to. What is he going to play here? Plays Copper Mirror, plays Mirror Sire, and we'll pass the turn. Sam? I think it was a force picked up for his turn. Sand is. Hasn't changed since Luis, other than force, hasn't changed since Luis uh, looked at it. The force in the mountain, mountain that is. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. And so, I, you know, I wonder uh, when you want to drop that mountain. Because, you know, he did have the cut off the Phoenix in there, it looked like. So, you know, you're going to need a I, bunch of red for that, yeah. right? He did, but it's not in his hand, so it's not too much of a worry. 5-4 Trample, paid with two, two uh, Phyrexian mana there. Vapor Snag drops, and this attack will drop Sam to 12. And now here's a Peerless Mirror. So at least just kind of getting there with little guys. Just, uh, you know, that uh, Mirror Sire... Doing some extra work there. Yeah, Luis is in the tempo game again. 
we've seen tempo, you know, throughout the drafts kind of play a big role. Kind of know your position with the tempo and, and how to take advantage of it. Rotwolf comes in and Luis declines the block. Doesn't want to give him any card advantage through Rotwolf's ability. Now are we going to see the 5-4 Trampler come into play again, but this time with one Phyrexian mana paid? Mountain finally revealed, and he comes back to play, and Luis has this Vapor Snake again, oh, dropping man. Sam to 10. And here comes 5 damage. Oh, Sam's only at 8 right now. now. And now 3 after the 5 damage. So I mean, just some damage quick, earlier. Well, I think what happened the, the, the was other the, vapors. It was the yeah, it was the uh, Phyrexian man. He had to pay for it plus the vapor snag. So, just I mean, now it's sitting at three, one lone guy, and boom, it's and done. there you go. Luis takes down game two, and he's going to advance to the finals. I'm sure he's ecstatic for this. On the other, there's another match going on. I'm not sure what's going on, the situation there, but we'll see if we can move it over.